So hi everyone, welcome back to data science in your pocket and today we would be discussing a newly released TTS model that is index TTS2 which is the best model for speech duration control of an audio generated. That means at times previously for the TTS models generated audio they are either long or short so the duration is a little uncontrolled but this time it is exact and hence can be used for audio dubbings as well. So let's see a few examples before we jump on to the details of the model. Translate. What is a surprise? There is nothing to translate. I'm asking model. you to translate it. What is a surprise? A su this is one of the examples. Let's see this one. As you can see, the lip sync is absolutely correct. Let's see this one also. I report consorting she committing adultery. This is quite nice and can be used directly for video dubbing, AI dubbing with index TTS2. There are few more examples our team has shared where you can listen to it and they have compared it with other models also like F5 TTS known for its audio cloning, Mask GCT and Index TTS2. So this is the audio prompt. It has traditionally been used for growth of human lymph. The equipment needed to do this includes rock saws and now let's listen to this one. The equipment needed to do this includes rock saws and polishers. Almost absolutely similar to ground truth, a little faster I would say. So it is able to give out great voice cloning too. There are some more examples that team has shared. Let's see this one. At other times, at a crucial moment, I make it easier for things to... So there's a sample that has been given. Now the text is this, what it needs to speak in the same audio. There is no wine in this country, the young man said. There is no wine in this country, the young man said. There is no wine in this country, the young man said. It's there is no wine in... It's a little fast, but I think it's absolutely correct. They have given multiple examples too. This is in Chinese, so I would be skipping this part. Let's see this English one. <laughs> Was this my blessing or my curse? It's not just the emperor who would... So it has emotions also. So it is emotionally apt. Voice cloning looks great. Duration is great. And hence, it's one of the best TTS models so far released. Here you can see that they have compared it with other models too. And looks to be a great release. Now we would be jumping on to the details of the model. What the team has done differently. Introducing index TTS2, voices that can actually act while staying in perfect sync. It's the first autoregressive system that tackles both precise duration control. Duration control is very important and emotional disentanglement. So it is emotionally apt also and it is able to generate audios of the right length. There are two problems that existed with previous TTS models. First was timing. Autoregressive models that are at the core of TTS models can't produce speech with precise duration. Unpredictable stretching or shrinking can happen. The audio can be shorter, the audio can be longer. Hence, you can't use it for dubbing. Unacceptable for dubbing and synchronization. As mentioned earlier, the problem too was emotion. System confuses who is speaking with how they are speaking. Requesting anger changes a speaker's identity. So for example, if you say, if you give an example of okay, the person is speaking mildly and then ask it to give a angry emotion, the most of the models fail, but not index TTS2. How it works? Text to semantic translates text into semantic tokens with precise duration control. Semantic to meld spectrograms with GPT-like context. Then they use vocoder. Turn spectrograms into actual audio using big VGAN V2. And text to emotion generate emotions from plain text using distilled LLM. So we're not jumping into the details of this part, but this is how the model works for now. What is the training recipe? Broad training, duration specified, and free form speech. 
emotional focus and fine tuning done on light full data set optimization what the results say i think token number error practically frame accurate for dubbing 0.03 percent it has the lowest word error rate that's the best part in terms of emotion it has the highest rating and text based from it has the better results with cozy voice with plain text emotion descriptions so the word to error rate is lowest and emotion rating is highest why does it matter i think now you can generate perfect dubbing audiobooks virtual assistant and what not and they have mentioned at one place from speech generator to voice performer you have got what are the different limits i think right now it is limited to a few emotions only seven that is anger happiness fear disgust sadness etc scale it requires 55,000 hours of speech data, weeks of training on 8 massive GPUs, which is humongous. Missing nuances, can't capture subtle emotions, sarcasm, quiet confidence, melancholy, etc. Not accessible for small labs beyond reach for indie developers for now. Index TTS from a voice you tolerate to a voice you actually believe. So this is it. Do try out Index TTS and let me know in the comment section how you feel about it. The codes are present on GitHub. So before we end this up, this is the GitHub repo for index TTS and all the codes are also present on the particular GitHub repo. As you can see, git clone and then you can run these commands to run the model for free in your local system too. As you can see, this is the part index TTS info v2 import index TTS2 and now you can run the model for free. So with this, it's a wrap. I hope you try out Index TTS2 and let me know in the comment section how you feel about it. Thank you so much.